Hey everybody, it's Party Elite here with another episode of my Strath Clute Thrones of Britannia Let's Play. This one's a little delayed and I do apologize for that, but it's just because I'm working on a review video for the game. I want to try and play obviously all of the factions and delve into more of the mechanics and see exactly what the limitations of the game are and exactly how it shines just so I can give a holistic opinion. And I want to try and get that out before the game releases because I feel like that would be helpful for all parties involved. So uh, I hope you understand, but that's why this episode's a little delayed and it's the review is kind of getting in the way of other videos, so I apologize though. Um, this session we are going to dive into war with either Kirken or Northumbra, just because they hold territories or parts of territories that I need to complete my objectives. So uh, either of them are a viable target, but before I do that, I do need to consider my military might. I have a 14 stack, an 11 stack, and a 3 stack. Kirken up here has a 20, a 9. Uh, Athfatla here has a 13. Um, so if I do go to war with Kirken, that's a cause for concern. And then down south, Northumbra is pretty large as well, and we can see a healthy 19 stack right here. So we're going to just take a moment to consider our food situation, for which we have to consider our economic situation. Now, before I dive into that, I just want to say there were a few great name suggestions in the comments over the last couple episodes. Uh, for example, we've got the Messengers of War here. These are the three uh, units that rushed down to make sure that Bebenberg was ours. Rightfully so. So, uh, Messengers of War, because they bring you the message that war is coming. Then we have over here, Run's DMC, because Run is in charge, and uh, now, now, before you think I'm, uh, I'm you know, breaking from historical references and all, this stands for Run's Deadly Men of Cymru, which is Wales, unless I'm horribly mistaken. So this is completely, this is not anathema, this is perfectly fitting. And then over here we've got God's plan, and I love the thought of that. It's like, God's always got a plan, and, and it's coming for you. I just love the idea of that. So, uh, that's our setup. Let's take a look at our food situation. What I could do is I could, I could actually up my tax levels and uh, make a fair bit of money, but that, that's actually kind of scary. Negative seven in two provinces. I'm ready to defend one, but these ones are kind of far away. Negative five. Negative two wouldn't be a problem. Um, I could I could reduce the taxing because that would that would help. It would at least increase the uh, happiness. Or uh, just trying to figure out like if I take it up a notch, there's a little bit of negativity going on, but that does help our food. Takes it to thirty. Ooh, that is awfully tempting actually. For just a little bit of negativity, three percent chance of rebellion. Like how bad could that be, right? The other option. The other option is, um, so we already know that Melros is a pasture, right? Or has a pasture, I should say. So that's a lot of food, 45. Um, up here, if we take, let's see, uh, Ken Rigmanid is a fishing village. So there's another plus 45 for food. Uh, Skonin, what are you? Oh, you're just a mine. I mean, I'd like a mine, but that's not as important. Dun Ikane is a farming village, so that's another plus 55. If we kind of, like, um, Blitzkrieg cure Ken... We could make up for our food deficit quite quickly. And the thing is, I want to recruit at least one 20 stack. So let's get this figured out. We've got God's Plan and we've got Run's DMC. Run's DMC should probably get on land. Uh, and let's make sure we're not suffering from attrition either. Okay, let's get them on land all the way up here just so they can move quickly. There we go. Ah. Oh. Oh, right, because our supplies are low. I was like, why are we taking attrition? We have no supplies, but hopefully that'll replenish uh, next turn now that I actually own the coast over here. These guys can stay as a three stack. I'll keep them as a minor army chasing and hunting uh, small villages. And God's plan, I think, needs uh, needs a couple more units. Uh, so we could recruit... Goddamn. All right, so all we have options for are uh, cavalry and skirmishers. Okay, no, 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 we've got... Oh, it's just they're all grayed out because I have money. Sorry, it's really early in the morning. Um... But I got this. I got this. All right. So we need some money. We'll wait next. Wait till next turn. We're making enough. That'll help. And uh, another thing, actually, a question that was asked on Reddit, actually, was uh, having elite units available right from the start. And that's not the case. Uh, as you research more technologies, it unlocks higher tier units. Um, so just to clarify, you don't actually get the best possible options. Like, for example... Uh, we have really good cavalry, so until I actually recruit 10 cavalry units, which I should do so I can unlock my high-tier cavalry, um, 
But until I do the research, I won't actually be able to recruit some of our higher tier cavalry options. So just to clarify, no, you don't have access to all uh, high tier units right from the beginning. Uh, I think I, I think I understood the question correctly. Uh, please let me know if I didn't and if that <laughs> answer is not satisfactory. All right, I think we're good to end the turn. Hoping these guys will replenish. Next turn we'll be able to recruit. And we're just waiting for uh, war with Kir Ken. That three stack will probably go down south and take Maelros. And the other two armies will probably move up north and... We'll take whatever we can. Hopefully, I think Kir Ken is still at war with uh, Orknear to the north. And that will ideally at least keep them busy, keep them occupied, or cause them some hurt. So they're not able to hit me with their full strength. I want to arrange a marriage with Healerborg. What are you? Great Viking army, you're a foreigner, and you have a wasteful... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not gonna happen. Leave. Seems we could not. Exactly, we could not agree. Oh, and there was a question in the previous episode, I think, uh, or might have been the first one, as to why do I kill captives? I gain nothing from it. Uh, just to clarify to any of you guys who don't watch my Let's Plays often, no, we've lost 94 uh, Deadly Men of Cymru. <laughs> um... Just to clarify, if you don't watch my uh, my my videos often, my let's plays, I should say, uh, I like role playing, and so I was killing those captives because they were rebels or foreigners or whatever the reason might be. But it's uh, it's just how I play. It makes things more fun for me, and I hope you guys enjoy that as well. But just to explain, I'm not always looking for optimal uh, numbers. It, it, I just don't enjoy that as much. So. That's that. That's the answer to that question. All right, so let's hold off on the food production because we're okay right now. Let's, however, recruit some more units. We are... this. We have to wait quite a while, actually, for supplies to replenish. At least we're not going to start dying off, but... Uh, yeesh. Runs DMC is fine as is. God's plan, I think, needs more units. So let's get them some... Let's see, we've got spears, we've got axes, swords. Got enough range. We need some more cavalry in this army, actually. So that I can get some cavalry specialists. So let's get... Oh dear. So expensive. But they're so much better. So fine, we'll get two units of old north horsemen. And... Some... I'd like to get two Welsh armored axemen. Because these guys just have Welsh levy axemen for now. So I would like to get two more armored axemen. But I can't afford that. So it'll have to wait. Alright, 13. We got the 14 up here, the 3 down here. I gotta take Dunbar as well. Huh, alright, well, I guess we just have to spend some time holding off until, uh, until we've really kind of consolidated our forces and our, our economy is improving, so that's good. Well, I'm just taxing people more, <laughs> so that's helping our food and, and econ economic situation, which is helping. Um, but yeah, we'll have to take a minute at the beginning of this episode just to make sure that all of our uh, ducks are lined up before we start gunning them down. Alright. And I am a little worried about Kirken growing more powerful. Maybe of mutual benefit. Well, this is an interesting conversation. Right now... Right now, we are... on the same side of things. I can... I can tell them we're friend. Sure, we are friend, not foe. Shall we For now. The deal with me? As we've already determined, I'm not. Uh, I'm not above assassinating my political enemies. So, am I really above lying to to foreign invaders of my lands? No, of course not. I'll lie to them if that's what I need. All right. So I think we're good. Faction emerges. Say Slwig. This faction once thought lost has risen from the ashes. Where are you located? Down here. Um, that is not relevant to me whatsoever right now. Okay, and we can also assign a governor. That costs money, though, so you know what? Before I do that, let's let's keep our military strength growing, just because that takes time to actually fill up as well. Like I said, I want two Welsh armored axemen in this army. And we've got a solid front line now. We've got four axe units. I wouldn't mind getting another sword unit in here, but they're not even available. We've got three spears. I could get one more unit of spears. Got four cavalry units, these three, and our uh, our general as well. So I think we're pretty well set here. Still have four more slots, so... Now it's just a matter of, uh, of maybe strengthening that front line. But first, 
runs DMC, we'll need to add some more units, I think. Messengers of War, let's get you down south. Let's get you moving, at least. And we'll get towards Melros, because these guys are fine down south there, and then everything else will move up north. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, that's, uh, that's the food limit. That is the food limit. I could push north right now, and... Oh, just as I say it, they come back down south. It's like they, they can... They sense it. They know it's coming. They know it's coming. I need to make sure that I'm causing damage before... Peace between Orknear and Kirken happens, because... Then I don't even have the advantage of them fighting war on two fronts. Um, they will pay me... So that I would marry this wasteful woman. I'm in. No. I mean. Huh. To their heir? I wonder if that would... Sure. I just realized this is marrying off. Um, sure. Oh, that's everybody up. Sure. Let me just, just make sure before I uh, scoot myself over there. But I just realized if they're demanding an arranged marriage, that must mean... I <laughs> forget my own daughter's name. Yeah, there we go. Right, Alwyn. I gave her off. Good. Good. I don't have a wasteful woman in my court. Um, now this is interesting. I wonder what happens... Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if there's like Crusader King style, uh, you know, conquest through bloodlines. Anyway, let's see. We've got uh, troop organization plus 15 melee skill for spear infantry. Not terrible. I could get royal spearmen now, which is nice. Or I could start getting some Warhounds. Let's go Let's go with the melee specialists. And I need two more cavalry units before I can actually start upgrading my cavalry. My so runs DMC, up. let's get you in Warriors here. Got enough cavalry in this army, but you see now we can, uh, we can recruit Royal Spearmen. So into this army, we've got a lot of spears in this army. Let's get a couple of Welsh Levy Axemen. Hmm... Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's okay. Just looking at my composition, I've got a decent front line. I've got two Welsh swordsmen, and I've got uh, some archers and cavalry in there. Like, it's a decent overall composition. God's plan is alright as well. Negative 30 is going to be problems. Negative 5 supply for all armies, so that will slow our replenishment down... To just six a turn, that's fine. As long as we're still going up, basically. Alright, let's nudge down here. Well, you know what, we're going to war anyways. A little bit of extra cash will go a long way. I need it. I need that money. Alright. I'm just worried that, like, Northumbria is going to declare war on me or something. Yeah, it's like Kirken knows that I'm coming. They've got that 20 stack ready. Waiting. I should check if they're still at war with Orknera, actually. I was going to do that last turn, but uh, slipped my mind. It doesn't look like it. But there was that other, like, 9 stack or whatever that went up north, and maybe that's just handling them. Uh, are you guys... What's your diplomatic situation? Yeah, they are still at war with Orknera and... Oh! Whoa! What happened here? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? At Futla, what are you up to? Off the dust of the road and sit beside me. That's so strange. They just did, that something went wrong there. They were I thought they were buddy buddy. Alright. Well that makes Kirken a more viable target. They've got uh, a defensive pact with Fort True. Which is all the way up here, so that shouldn't be a problem for me. Well, doesn't that change things? My men! Are the best. I'm sure they are. But I need to move fast. Alright, this is a full 16 almost. Or at least the game seems to think so. Oh dear. Let's not do this. Let's uh let's pull back. Let's get fortified. 
Rodri's son will prove it. Jeez, the supply. So I, I actually like that I'm dealing with a supply situation because uh, previously I was not. I did not feel that pain in uh, when I was playing the earlier access stuff. So I guess it's just the situations I've put myself in. So I like that. All right, that's some extra food waiting to happen. So let's do that. Eight turns. Dear God. It's okay. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. And we do have another slot here. So I could finally get that blacksmith and upgrade some of my units. Uh, this will take four turns for plus 30 food. It's faster. But I need. I want to get that blacksmith in there. We get some uh, patrols going. Hmm. I think, uh, I think I'll go with the blacksmith. That was the original plan. So I'll let... Uh, I'll let this go for a turn, because I do still need to solve my food situation, and then we'll get that blacksmith. Funnel all of our armies through that province to get the upgrades to our equipment, and then we'll go to war with, uh, with Kirken. I guess they came down to take care of Athfotla. Hmm. What were they thinking? Oh, there they go, moving in to take... I mean, I could declare war with a foot left. They've got that 14 stack, and they're dealing with a 20 stack from Kirken. I could roll up, and what could we take? Dundirn. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good for my money. And, uh, what's this? Dunblan. Right? Yeah, this is this has got a church. Dunkelden. I mean, that's a full... Oh, dear, that's going to be a, an actual siege battle. You know, that doesn't seem like such a terrible idea right now. And we don't have any sort of uh, alliance or anything or treaty to stop me from doing that. Our spirits are resolute. Let's do it. We've got to take advantage of uh, situations. It is, after all, well. God's plan, right? So let's move on up here. Get let's get you moving over. Go by sea. No, it's faster to go by land. Ugh, I don't want to... The last thing I want is for these guys to declare war on me at the same time. Alright. Oh dear. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Now let's get this going, six turns, so I won't actually be able to use it for uh, this war right now. I do love that they brought this back. It makes it... Uh, I'm, I'm very happy that they brought that back. Okay. How about I assign a governor now? I don't think I can afford it, but if I get the miner in to help with industry, which might actually be best, best done up here, so let's save him for later. And the turn right now, I think I'm strong enough to take Athfatla. And once I do that, I can get my armies, both my armies, maybe even up to a 20 stack. Mm, this isn't good. Kirkan's going to take all the good stuff. I shouldn't have waited so long. Should not have waited so long. Because my three stack can only get up to, what, Edinburgh this turn? But, uh, that Futla took Dun Ikane up here. It's gonna be interesting. A lot of unprotected small provinces over here. Huh. This man likes fish. Gain from the port building chain. Oh, wow, that helps with farm income. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, yeah, so the three stack can only get to... Well, oh, what's faster? Yeah, okay. I love it. The messengers of war are running forward. It's fitting. It's fitting. Move you up to here. A little bit of diplomatic penalty is not the end of the world. I'll deal with it. I mean, if I move up over here, I could take Dune Ikane if they abandon that, which they probably will. So perhaps we do that with God's plan. Coming into dock. Okay, let's do that. All right, I think we're all set up. I have a little bit of money to spend, but I don't think I can build much. We could upgrade this to help our economy. What's going on down here? I haven't been checking on these guys. Din Pris. Help our economy here as well. Let's do that. Just because I feel like they feel ignored and left out. So I'll, I'll show them that I care. Their king cares. All right. Kirken, back up, man. Go go take Dune Kane back. That's not Dune Kane. <laughs> Damn it. It's okay, I can still take Dune Dirn if I get there first. Obviously, Kirken's got plans there too, but we'll see. 
Either way, I have to position myself for war against uh, Kier Ken. So, I'm moving in the same direction either way. Ooh, a worthy bride. Oh, what's this? Illegitimate child? No, midwife. Plus three public order for the husband when governing. Plus 20% chance of having children for the husband. It's too bad that Ekade is not a governor. He is a warrior. But, um... But I will, I will allow this. He is 25. She's 29. Oh, dear. In this era, she's probably getting close to spinster age. Um, <laughs> a happy couple tend not to plot against one. This union has our official blessing. I'll allow it. Oh, no. Windstorm? Where? Witten Ern. Let's repair that. No problem. And let's research and upgrade our... Uh, well, let's upgrade our troop organization first. I think we've got more spears overall in our army, and I, I need those two cavalry units. I really do. Let the enemy beware. Could add them here. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's Get pop in there. here, and let's recruit... Where'd we go? Two scout horsemen. Again, fitting for a, a, a quick, nimble army. And let's swap over to uh, Cavalry Specialist. None of the civic stuff is available for me either. I mean, once the blacksmith is done, I might be able to build... ...something more. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have unlocked this section, I think, with the blacksmith done. So that's good, at least. And that blacksmith is uh, four turns away still. We will do Jeez. You proud. Okay, let's move you up to he here. Battle calls! And over here, the let's move all the way ready. up to here. Now, we are suffering from seasickness, but uh, that's fine. Oh my god, they've taken Brechin as well. Hmm. I'm moving rather aggressively. Maybe next turn I use some of my wealth to assign a governor. Our income slowed down again. Oh boy, they're like just trading provinces. That's fine, my 16 stack will easily take Brechin and Dun Ikane. Maybe even Dune Kaelden. The thing is, I get public order bonuses from having clean borders. My my people do not like border gore. So I'll suffer that. Oh, Fort Shrew has been taken care of. Oh, crap. Oh, where are they? All the way over here? That's not going to cause me any trouble, I hope. But yeah, Fort Shrew is gone. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's make sure that at least some of this pie belongs to me. All hands to the oars! All right. Looks clear up there. Every We've got... Man will do his duty. <sighs> we need Songs to stay back this sung. turn, I think. I mean, I could push up. Let's see. Here I can. I don't really want to... My time. ...make any plans with them or make any alliances with them because I intend to go to war. And, uh... An immediate war. A war very out. soon. So, it's not like Orkney are in pretend friendships that'll last at least a couple of years. How far can I get without suffering from attrition? Or should I just stay back and let my supplies fill up a bit more? I think I should stay back and let my supplies fill up, especially here. Negative 57 food. That is serious business. That is some serious business. But, uh, who was it? Was it, oh yeah, Dunacane. I'm not going to wait five turns for this farm to upgrade. If it was a long-term war and I didn't have the concern of Kirken taking it, I might have waited, but uh, I don't think I have that as an option. Denawal, the governor, has leveled up, and we could get him a forager to help with food and replenishment. Just a little bit. And we can assign a governor where? To Bernice. Ooh, merchant. Helps the market, and that helps the industry. Let's see, what's the deal here? What's the deal here? We've got farm money. We've got... Hmm. Not really the perfect... candidates here. But, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll hold off. Hold off for now. You just don't want to spend the money pointlessly. I'd rather save up and, you know, upgrade another town or something to get more food coming. Like, if I could upgrade this, I need 2988. That will help my food quite a bit, so... I think I'm gonna prioritize that rather than a governor. The people won't mind. It's for the greater good of the kingdom. I'm a just king. I'm a good king. I really need a Futla to take back Dundirn and Dunblan here so I can take it back from them. I would really appreciate that. There's a lot of money to be made in those mountains. 
Another fleet's inbound, down south, so I don't need to worry about it. And who's leveled up now? Katwared. Um, he's the impassioned, vigorous rider from last turn. I could... Loyalty 3. I don't know how happy I am about that. Okay, no, no, let's go with, let's go with Forager first. The food situation is serious. It, it causes supply problems, and that's a, that's, that's a problem. My people are excited for war. So there's that. Well, they're not excited, but, you know, they're not unhappy. <laughs> we'll count that as excitement. Because that's plus 10 food production, or... That increase it by 20 over here. 10 and some more money as well. More supplies, too. This is done in three turns, so that's going to help a fair bit. I say we wait and upgrade to the uh, Great Tithe Barn. All right, what's going on up here? Sea forces reported in. Let's land. Get the men ashore. And yeah, we'll go we to war. Will serve you well. We'll go to war right away. There's no reason not to. They've only got Dune Kaelden, Dune Kane, and Brechen. So I want to make sure I get some of that. Uh, let's move you falter. up to here. I'm sorry, Kirken, but it's just the way get it's going to be. We are and let's get wars or messengers of war up here as well. I can't do that. Where are they going? Where are they going? They're probably trying to make their way back to Dune Ikane, but I'll, I'll beat them to it. I'm right next to it. To be on friendly terms. No, Northumbra, too close to home. It seems we could not agree. That's right, we could not. If you wanted to agree, you should have left a long time ago. Orknair is far. Orknair is a distant problem. Northumbra is coming right up, basically. All right. Where did that 20 stack go? <laughs> wow, there's that 13 from a Fatla trying to take Dune Fautier. Fautier? Foiter? Foiter? Okay, so there's an Fatla army here as well, the Conquerors. Got my 17. I could push in to see what's going on at Dune Kaelden. Nothing. Interesting. Interesting. And Dune Kaelden has got... Oh my god, that is a big garrison. 14. That is a big garrison. That could actually be a, a, a battle that needs to be fought. Like a siege battle that needs to be fought. Yeah, I wonder if I... For the glory of the Camry! don't really have the time in supplies to wait My for war. Are the best. We are and if we take Dun Ekane, then Fortru, or not Fortru, Athfatla will turn and pay attention to me. The 13 plus 9 is going to be a problem, but I don't know if these guys will abandon their siege at uh, Dun Foiter to come back down south. My warriors will not falter. Yeah, I think we make our move. I think we make our move right now. Alright, so, you know, the Messengers of War are there with Bruns DMC. So, we're gonna start the war here. Yeah, they have no friends or anything. An act... Wait, oh, we do have treaties. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. This is what being stabbed in the back feels like. I'm sorry, Athfatla. Sword with sword. I'm still trustworthy. Cool. <laughs> Good enough for me. All right, so we will need some towers and a ram. I'm trying to see how many I can build without. Uh... All right, there we go. So in two turns, we can hit this city. This will be an interesting fight. All right, maintain siege. That's right, war's been declared. Diplomacy has failed. And you, roll in over here. Yeah, before Kirken rolls in. We're just going to occupy it. Kirken will be able to take Brecken. But it's okay. I've got uh, got the food from here. It's a lot more helpful than uh, just a little bit of money. I would say, at least right now. It'll solve our supply situation a little bit. At least that negative 5 from army consumption will be gone. Alright, down here, meanwhile, we could upgrade this. It'll take 4 turns for a little bit more food. I think that's the way to go. Ah, oh. I only feel marginally terrible about what I just did to uh, Athfatla. 
I hope Cure Cannon goes up there instead. Now they're gonna take Brechen, of course. It's fine. It's fine. The war with Cure Cannon is what I'm really actually worried about. This is all we see, but who knows what's going on up there against Orknear right now. And if they if if peace comes to them just as I'm uh as soon as I'm like warring with Kirken, that that'll be trouble for me. On the bright side, what I think I can do is so this nine stack is maybe going to Dun Duyern or Dun Blan. I hope it's not going to Scone because it can't take Scone quickly enough. I want them to conquer so that I can roll in afterwards. All right. Oh, they just had a little fight, and uh, Athfatla did not win that fight. I could keep God's plan in here just to make sure they don't keep losing supplies. I have enough troops, I think, to win this fight. We could, in fact, wait until they start suffering from attrition. That is a big army. That is a big army. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've unlocked the Uchelwer. Please tell me how to pronounce that. I'll look it up, but uh, <laughs> it's not easy. And let's also get troop organization now. Uh, last node in the melee unit's chain. Oh, I see, I see. So I gotta get to the end here before I can get this. Okay, fair enough. We've got some money, but I don't think that's enough to do much. We've got the blacksmith, so let's upgrade that so we can get those upgrades right away. And as soon as this war with Athfatla is over, we'll come back and upgrade to uh, silver armor and weapons. Yeah, we're good. Come on, do the right thing, Athfatla. Go down there and conquer those two settlements so I can take it back from you. The right thing to do. And then take Scone afterwards. Oh, well, I mean, that works too. I'll just take Brechen from them first. Did that other army not move? Because if that army didn't move, then... Hit hard and fast. Oh, yeah, it's still here. Still here. And these guys are now suffering from attrition. Patrols, right, there we go. These guys are going to suffer from attrition, though. And food, or supplies, rather, are also Our running quite low. We could take Brechen. I mean, it's worth it. There's no reason not to. We will serve you well. And we're going to auto-resolve this, obviously. Obviously. Uh, aggressively, please. Slaughter him. Thank you. How do we actually lose 10 men? Come on. No, I don't actually judge. I think it's perfectly fine. All right, unit replenishment help as well. Sure, let's do that. All right, Girik has been killed in battle. Okay, so let's repair this. And Dune Kaelden we hit next turn, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, we, we can hit right now. You know what? I'm not going to wait for attrition. Let's have some fun here, right? I've got enough spears. They don't have any... Uh, Cavalry, it's fine. A lot of archers that I can chase with my spears. A lot of spears I can engage with my spears. Got some swords and axes. I've got, I think, an equivalent amount. So we can, as long as we get to the walls, okay. With our six siege towers, shouldn't be a problem. This is going to be an interesting fight. Let's uh, let's take this to the battlefield and see what we can do here. All right, I am very excited for this. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually wait for foggy weather or something because they've, they have outrange me. They have more range units than I do. Um, though I think my archers are much better than theirs. Oh, it's tempting to wait for rain. Or... No, let's, let's fight in dry weather. I, I have fire and stuff as well. Like if I want to set fire to these buildings. Okay, start deployment. Let's take a look at the city. This is like pretty looking city so let's see we've got uh, one entry point over here to the walls and there's the gate over there okay cool this giant moat so there's nothing I'll be able to do over here and then there's this entry point over here as well there's the gate and there is oh dear these settlements I swear okay so we get in through this gate and then there's this wall section as well which okay there's a ramp over here Jeez, I have to get up over there, move all the way over here, and then get up over here. What's the deal over here? Is there an entry point over here? I mean, I've got the siege towers, which is good. Right, so if I can deploy over here instead, there's the gates over here. We can push in over here and then go up these 
bridges, this and this, and go into the city center. I love these siege maps. They're so good. <laughs> I couldn't think of a better word. Like, there are actual options, you know? Like, this is, uh, if you were only a Warhammer player, now you understand why, uh, why there was so much judgment for the siege battles in Warhammer. Okay, this is great. Okay. I said we do this. We form up over here, go by force, take the walls over here. There's a, uh, minor victory point over here, it looks like. Yeah, it'll give me a morale bonus. So we can take that before we move up to the, uh, main victory point. The other option is this way, but if I go this way... Yeah, my troops are going to be so tired getting to the actual entry points. Because if I go in this way, they'll have to march so far. And if they have archers posted up here, they'll take so many hits. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's do this. Over here. Okay. So we've got our towers, and we've got spears, swords, axes. All right. You guys forming up over there. Take that by force. Swords. Now the thing is, towers actually get slowed down by these little walls and things like that, so I have to be wary of that in terms of timing. Okay. There we go. There we go. Take that. Take that. We've got the battering ram. Um. Yeah, no, that's fine. Just wondering if instead of, you know what, no. Let's drop the siege equipment. And... You guys... Drop your siege equipment. Let's get the... Axes on the tower. And let's get the spears on the battering ram. There we go. Just because, um... I'd rather have my axes and stuff on the walls. Alright. Axes. Over here. Okay, these guys will have to shift in a little bit. Just gotta optimize this. There we go. There we go. These guys are okay. We've got our battering ram over here. Facing the right way might be a good idea, perhaps. There we go. And the rest of the army... Form you up. Okay. So we've got our archers. Guard mode. No skirmishing. There we go. They'll move up with. We've got our cavalry. That can stay in the trees back here until the gate's taken care of. And then we can flow right through. And then we've got so many more spears. So many more spears. Okay. You need to be back here with your cavalry bros. Alright. Excellent. I think we're ready to go. This should be a fun battle. Be sure to protect your general in combat. We can't His yeah. Win. No slackers. Okay, there Don't we go. A reinforcements have arrived. Of course, the reinforcements are coming from there. They're on the same side on the battlefield. Um. Yeah, we'll. Oh dear, we're separated. I mean, we could push in and capture these gates. So let's move up to there. Maybe we actually capture those gates. All right. Still rolling up. Let's form up over here. Fire away, because we can. Yes, cower. Cower in fear. Come on, we're not really getting good hits. It's fine, it's fine. Let's get our... Uh, we are suffering from some missile fire, but let's get our shield castle happening. There we go, keep these guys safe. Ooh, fire arrows coming in. Fire on those Highland Levy archers. I'm a little worried about these towers. Come on, men. Do not fear, do not despair. Glory awaits you. Got these towers going up rather safely. Oh, there come the archers there. But it's okay, we're about to start firing away these levy archers. That'll at least scare them. Put them back. Turn around and fire on these guys. One there, one there. Let's try and keep these guys at bay. Battering ram is almost there. Our towers are almost here. 
Oh dear, more more archers. We are almost here. Almost, almost, almost. We should be fine. These spears will be very easily taken care of, I think, by our uh, by our axes. I need to make sure I don't actually get uh, distracted by cinematic shots. There are our swordsmen have arrived over there. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on. Come on, men. Drive them away. Oh Jesus! Actually, there's a lot of them over here. Okay. Get our swords moving quickly. Fire away at uh right, where are the sides over here. How's the gates? Almost done. The enemy's gates have been destroyed. Get you up over here. Get you guys out of your shield castle, move you up. go the battle is turning in our favor of course it's turning in our favor all right, I think we're coming out on top over here I should hope mm, we, need a, we need a good rear charge over there or something come on push through we're really having trouble with the uh, archers here come on all right we're okay we're okay we're okay all of our spears coming through we should be able to oh these swords are going to trash my spearmen here. Oh crap. Get our cavalry through, come on. Here we come. Toss them back, come on. Let's see if we can charge right through them. I've got some spears in there, that's a little scary. We're okay over here, we're coming out on top. We are taking the walls. Fire away at these archers. Because they are killing my men. Alright, here come the rear charges. Or, there we go. Just need to be very careful, there are spears in this clump. Alright. Keep these guys back. Let's go chasing after that. Get you out of here. We have captured the gates! Excellent, excellent. Gates are ours. What we can actually do is... We can send... I don't know, go up this way, go up this way. We can send our cavalry to capture these gates over here and let the rest of our army in. There we go. That should solve that situation. We're okay over here. These guys are giving up. We've got these guys in reserve. I just want to win this engagement so I can get some rear charges in here. Or let's get you over here and get rear charges over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Javelins, let's drop them. They are leaving the field. How dare you? We're being fired upon by the uh, the towers. It's fine. I understand. Okay, we're good here. These guys are gonna fall. Got a. Nice charge in here. These horsemen out so we can get another charge. And let's get you charging in here. Keep chasing the sword band. Alright, these guys have been taken care of. And now... Let's move over there. Keep an eye out on those guys. What are we doing over here? We're okay, those guys are being taken care of. Let's get a nice charge in here. Actually, let's get a charge in here. Slight stumbles. All right, these guys should break soon. Pull back, though. There are spears there, so we need to be very careful. And uh, let's move you up, and you can capture this minor point here just to give us the morale buff. All right. Almost out of ammunition. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Getting a nice, clean rear charge. Oh, oh no, we're not. Cowards. Cowards. Can't blame them. Facing the superior might of... Uh, of the deadly men of Cymru. My, uh... My men aren't even gonna arrive here. Let's see if we can't run through this uh, unit. Let's see if they can't be the heroes of the other gate. This is all ours. 
Where else do they have units? Certainly they have more. This is almost ours. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We care about the gate. Let's get that gate, let's get those guys in. Alright. I miss the uh, cinematic camera, I'm not gonna lie. It's so much... Uh, this camera is so much cruder, I forgot just how it feels. Let's finish these men off. Oh, these poor souls. Victory is ours. Didn't even have to get the other gates. I mean, granted, we outnumber these guys significantly. Look at that. Look at their commander. A coward. Did not even fight. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. Alright, that was fun. That was a nice uh, map layout. 103 kills, 111, 108. Absolute champions. 313 kills? 313 kills. These Welsh Armored Axemen are serious business. 194 up here. Oh dear. Alright, excellent. And uh, that's a lot of money. I could sack and occupy. Or I could subjugate them. I love this little illustration. I think this calls for a sack and occupy. Yes. Okay, our heroism has gone up again. This is the way to do it. You have been steadfast in battle and constant in your desire to expand your holdings. You are becoming the leader your subjects always wanted. I'll take check what that does in a second. For now, let's occupy this. Okay, we need to recuperate our supply situation. Uh, plus three war fervor, that's great. 51 heroism, plus one in all region, public order. Morale buffs, influence buffs, cool. I don't think that's changed. Unless it dropped down previously. Alright, Kirken obviously has low public order. That's fine. We could build this farm over here. What else? We actually have options now. We could help the economy and public order in this region. We could help the food situation, which we're already kind of taken care of. And we will serve you well. I don't think we'll be taking... And when we go to war with Kirken, we'll get some more food solved. We'll get... Hmm. Decisions, decisions. The plus three supplies doesn't sound like a bad idea either. Public order here is fine. Public order here, not so much. So maybe we do uh, upgrade this. Increases our fame as well. Gets us some money. And it gives us public order. Sure. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. And then up here, we should actually repair some of these things. Oh, maybe we don't, um... Maybe we don't do this. Let's get all these things repaired first, and then let's not spend any more money, because we don't have any more money. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks for doing the math for me, game. Um, that's the end of Athfutla. That is, that's, yeah, that's all their province is gone. So let's take a look at these guys. They should be suffering from attrition. 85 and 30, yellow over here. Basically, in my first session, uh, Westerners had an army where after I took all of their provinces, they obviously, they would have some supplies left, but the, the moment those supplies dwindled, they should start suffering from attrition if the mechanics are applying to the artificial intelligence. Wow, to the AI. Who says artificial... Anyway. Um, so, they might have some supplies left, right, but having negative however much food re reduces supplies a lot more quickly, and so they should start starving soon. So let's uh, keep an eye out for that. Athfatla has approached us with a most interesting proposition, seeking to bring an end to the king of Kirken. They have requested our aid. Such an act could greatly weaken Kirken, though we would be considered most cowardly if caught. Should we do it? Offer to help them, or refuse to be involved? This is a little weird. I have no reason to join an army, literally one army, against a kingdom. And Orkneyer is getting some work done, so I actually need to get busy. I don't want to be involved with them. I want a good, clean fight. Our associations with such a dastardly plot fill us with disgust. We must prove our innocence and eliminate the conspirators. Vassalize or eliminate Athfatla. Uh, okay. Easy enough. It'll help my influence. 
I don't think I need to fight this on the field. We'll just pour out and take care of them. But first, Run's DMC, or rather Run, has leveled up, so we can actually get him something now uh, that doesn't just solve our food situation for once. Siege Engineer is not a bad idea to help uh, reduce enemy siege holdout time. Don't need loyalty buffs. But we'll affect the enemy as well. This is a good system of like to help slow the enemy down. Your bard sings so wonderfully that the enemy slows down to listen. It's like the uh it's like the siren's call. <laughs> we go with champion, increase our command and the melee skill of our command unit. Let's do that. That'll allow us to do night battles as well. So yeah, let's do champion. Well deserved after that battle, I think, and then we can just roll in and just destroy the conquerors. We are Arthur's folk. True of heart. Them down. I said, destroy the conquerors. Night attack for the extra joy. Doesn't make a difference. Auto resolve it. We're not going to fight it anyway. Aggressively. There we go. Down with a Fatla. And uh, we'll give their men... Give their men a chance to live. Not that there are any of them left, but... You know. Alright. Done and done. Plus two influence. Excellent. That was a successful uh, war. Now, the question is, where is Kirken's 20 stack? Is it this 9 stack? Am I free to move in to war against Kirken? Certainly feels like it. I've got my 16 up here, able to take Dunfoitier, or Dunfoiter. I always read that like a French name. Dunfoiter and Aberdeen we could take with the uh, 16 stack. And then... Scone we can take with Runs DMC, and the Messengers of War can take Dun Duyern and uh, Dun Blan. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't sound like such a terrible idea. Who do they have as allies? None. No allies. I don't need to persuade you about anything. Do we move in right now? There's no reason not to. If I don't move in right now, Orknear will conquer the entirety of this northern section here, so I think we need to be aggressive. Dunfoiter is right there. And ready. Let's move you guys to the edge over here. Does help supplies, but foreign soil is a serious problem. I mean, if they lose a couple men through attrition, it's not the end of the world, but I can reach Dunduyer next turn either way. doesn't matter. I can reach both of these next turn either way. And what I can actually do is I can recruit another army, and in this army I can get Tudric in charge. It'll cost me 400. It's fine. And his army will step into Strathbalen, and we'll give him a couple spears. Spirit of Ambrosius. Ambrosius? Some more hounds, why not? No, because let's not waste money and food. There we go. Done. So we will take both of these cities, Scone and Dunfoyther, within the next couple turns. My warriors will not this fall. time, Run himself will be declaring the war. Thank you very much. Or actually, before I do that, Scone. Oh, this shouldn't be trouble at all. Every man will do his duty. It's time for war here, Ken. You've lived... For far too long. Sword with sword. Yes, I'm sure we will. And uh, let's get a couple of towers going in. Night attack makes the slightest of differences. I want to make sure I'm ready next turn. Maintain that siege. Yes, we are at war. Diplomacy has failed. Brechen now... Kirken's army is all the way up there, so they are campaigning against Orknear right now. We should be safe. Okay, oh, this is going to be an easy fight. There we go. Maintain the battle. Or maintain the siege, and then over here, we'll move in next turn. They Now, they could recruit an army over here, so this could go either way. And Melros we need to take as well. Could recruit another army at Coldingham, or Bebenburg even. Hmm. I think it's worth it. For the swiftness of, uh... For the swiftness of this war, for the happiness of my kingdom, I think it's worth it. We'll take uh, Anarut. Even though he's a minor. We will serve you well. it's too soon exactly, you will serve me well. 
we go. And that'll take a couple turns to get to Maelros, but that's okay. Let's make sure you're... I mean, we'll be able to hit that next turn, no problem. Alright. Looking at a pretty successful session here. So again, that's just... That's how minor provinces, like minor settlements work. Uh, it's not necessary that... Oh dear, no, what the hell was that? That was the 20 stack. Oh, this could, this could turn around real fast. We'll see. This could turn around real quick. The, okay, I'm stress, stress, stressing out right now. Come on. <laughs> All right, what's happening over here? So they are actually reinforcing Dune Foyther. So it'll actually be a serious Warriors. fight now. In favor of them, in fact. Maintain the siege. It's fine. Uh, up here, we can take Scone. Okay, good. We can take Dune Dearn. Let's do that right away. Oh. A fair sum of cash. No, I, I, I don't want to deal with the public order situation right now. We're just going to occupy. And down here, the occupy this. We'll probably disband that army soon. Uh, down here, get you as close as we can get. And up, well, down here first, let's take Scone. I don't need to fight this. I think we can auto-resolve this safely. Yeah, let's auto-resolve this. We'll fight aggressively. No need to let anyone live, of course. Oh, jeez. Took a lot of damage there. And we're just going to occupy this. It's a fair sum of cash, but overall, if we can keep up the pace of this aggression rather than have to fall back, uh, I, think we'll, I think we'll come out much more on top. Thing is, this 20 stack is a little scary. It is right here. It could roll up to Brehen. It can't hit it. And I'm close enough, I think, that next turn I can bring Run's Deadly Men of Cymru up to Brehen, and I can bring God's Plan down to Brehen as well. So we can reinforce each other, and it'll be, uh... Well, that'd be a massive... That'd be a pretty massive fight, actually. That'd be pretty fun. Every man will do his duty. Maybe... Yeah, maybe that's what we do. Now, next turn, I'm making a pretty penny, actually. Oh, I wish I could... My warriors will not falter. It's too late to bring my troops back down south to upgrade them and then send them up again. That 20 came in real hard. And where's that 9? Lost track of that 9 stack. Alright. Let's pull back from the siege battle. Lift the siege, retreat. Fall back. It's the safety of... Well, let's get as far as possible. If that 20 hits my 60 and I'll be in trouble. Let's fall back. That is God's plan. Alright, and... Uh, this building that needs some repairing. Fair enough. There we go. All done. Wow. It's like if I let the AI control it, everything burns. And we'll assign governors soon. There's three provinces that don't have governors. So we need to get on that before uh, we start missing out on opportunities. Your Ken's rolling back up north. Good job, buddy. Absolute fool. Should have chased me. Should have chased me. But they're very close, obviously, so they can turn right back around. I'm guessing Orknear is about to hit uh, Deer or... Oh, god damn, they took Aberdeen. If I'm fortunate, Kier Ken will take it back, but take a lot of damage while doing so. And then it's for me to scoop up. Alright, let's move you up there. Let's get us... Send them packing! That's really frustrating. That's really frustrating. Okay, um, let's get our... Let's get, well, he's not going to be able to move until next turn anyway. Orknair might come down and take Mona. In which case, I go to war with Orknair next. We may both benefit from I am stronger than them. I could. I really could. We're all good down here. We've conquered everything. Let's uh, fix this situation over here. Let's fix this situation over here. No no forward cultures are allowed. And let's fix this situation next turn. Fair enough. Let the, enemy the messengers of war can move upwards. Everybody we'll use them. them. If we go to war with Orkneyar next, we'll use them to take Dune Nectain. Maybe Rinnan and some of these minor settlements over here. Man, if they move down from Aberdeen rather than up, I'll be a little annoyed. I mean, they have every right to, but it's still unfortunate. 
let's get missile specialists. Again, archers are one of our specialties, so we would be foolish not to take advantage of the fact that that's unlocked. So let's go down that path a little bit. And uh, I think next turn, we hopefully take Dune Foyther, and then uh, after that, go to war with Orkneir, I suppose. Take the north. Be the true king in the north. We've got a lot of food. We can actually raise another uh, decently sized army. We can raise another half stack almost, or make one of our smaller armies. We could make the messengers of war a serious army. They will bring death and destruction in their wake. Or they will leave death and destruction in their wake. Alright guys, uh, this is though the end of this session. We've hit that hour mark. I think it was pretty good. We have to roll in and take Melros, which we're doing right now. And we're just going to occupy that. And uh, triggers our objective, giving us more money to play with. We just need to hit Dunbar. Just to make sure they can't recruit a little army down here. We'll take Dunbar. Uh, these guys can roll in and take Skonin and Ken Rigmanid. But all that will happen next time. Right here on this channel, of course. And that'll actually, I'll, I'll be releasing episodes over the weekend as well. There's some loyalty issues, so I need to make sure I fix that. Let me just fix this real quick before uh, before everything falls apart next session. And I before, before I forget to do this and everything just blows up in my face. So, um... Estates. We've got a lot of estates. Dun Eirkain. Let's give that to... Let's give Coldingham to my son. There we go. And that solves our loyalty issues across the board? Oh, it does. Good. I was worried I'd have to give them all away. Anyway, on that note, Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you had a good time. As always, do let me know with a like and a comment. Just helps me measure the interest in all of my content so I can move forward accordingly. Next session, we will continue our war with Kirken and then perhaps go to war with Orknear to the north and just complete our conquest of, uh, of Alba, as it were. Until next time, though, thank you very much for watching. And uh, as always, cheers. <laughs>